I'm Dennis Burns, and I'm a teacher here at Woodsongs. I have taught at Woodsongs since the early 80s. Uh, I think it was 1983. Uh, around that time, John Eaton and Craig Ferguson owned Woodsongs. And prior to that, it was called Folk Arts Music. At that time, it was owned by Ned Alterman. Now it is March 19th of 2020, many years later, another lifetime. And today, we have this whole coronavirus thing going on. It's very strange. I know everybody feels totally disoriented by it. I certainly do. I felt like one day life was perfectly normal. The next day I felt like I had walked into a sci-fi movie. So I know everyone's hunkered down at home, practicing their social distancing and all that stuff. So we at Woodsongs thought we'd make a short video series so you can improve the level of your musicianship. So that will be the name of this series. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, this is just an idea. Maybe we'll just make a few of them. Maybe this will go on for a long time. We'll just see. We'll just see what happens. So the first lesson is called the musical alphabet. So this is assuming you don't know anything about music. You have a guitar, mandolin, ukulele, whatever. Uh, maybe you know a few chords, but you, maybe you don't know anything about how music's put together or music theory. So we're going to cover a bunch of that stuff. And then eventually in later series, I'll try to show you how to apply it to your instruments. So today we're just going to start with the very basics. So if you take a look at my computer screen here, these are some illustrations I made in Photoshop because I'm not, sorry, I'm not a great Photoshop wizard, but I think it gets the point across. So in music, we just use the letters A through G. If you can recite them in order, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's all you need to know. Where do we go after G if we continue on? We return to A again. So when we do them through the musical alphabet forward, that is called ascending or going up, like going up a, a series of stairs, right? So if you look at the screen there, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, etc. Just keep doing it. So that is upward. And of course, what that sounds like is from low to high. Bo, do, 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 and so on. Uh, the next illustration is going from G backwards through that series of letters. So you're reciting the alphabet backwards from G. So going down, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. What do you do when you get to A if you want to keep going down? You start on G again. You keep going down. It's just an endless cycle down, okay? So that is descending, and of course, de descend descending sounds are bo do 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 do, right? Like going down the stairs, down the musical stairs. Okay, the next illustration shows you starting on A, and you can see there's a curved uh, font there, and it goes up to the center, and that reaches up to a higher A. So that's the scale going upward, A B C D E F G A, and then coming down. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So this is important that you can do this on your own from memory. You need to practice reciting these because then you can apply it to your instrument very easily. So it's fine to look at this graphic for help, but eventually, you know, you're sitting around wasting some time. You, you know, use your mind. Practice these combinations. So this is starting on A. Look at the next one. It starts on B. So all I did was we start on B and we end on B. We go B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then when you hit that B, practice going backwards and ending up on the B again, coming down. B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B. Okay, so we're just doing the musical alphabet forward and backwards, starting on different notes and starting and ending on that same note. You look at the next one, starting on a C, same idea. Going up from C to C is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Coming down, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay? All right, let's check out the next one. If you want to go further with this um, and make it a little bit more challenging, we can do what are called thirds. So if you look at the top graphic there, we have A up to G, seven notes. And every other note is starred. So when you skip from one note and you start on one note and you skip the middle note, you go to the next note. So like on the bottom stair, you jump up to the third stair. That's called moving in thirds. There's different kinds of thirds. We'll talk about that some other time. But just practice reciting the alphabet in thirds. So what I've starred right there shows you exactly 
what I'm talking about. So A, I skip the B, I go to C. I skip the D, go to E. Skip the F, go to G. Practice that. A, C, E, G. Just do it over and over so it's automatic. Coming down, same idea. At the center of the diagram there, coming down. G, E, C, A. So practice saying it forward and backwards. Thirds are very important because this is the building block basics of how to make chords. So if you want to under understand how chords are made, whether they're major or minor, this is the starting place. So this is kind of like just basic mathematics, right? You have to learn two and two is four in order to go on to, you know, algebra and stuff like that. So this is the very basics. Next line, same idea, starting on B. If I skip every other note that's starred, it's B, D, F, A. Backward, it's A, F, D, B. Last one, starting on C. C, skip the D, go to E, and so on, G, B. C, E, G, B, going up, going down, B, G, E, C. And by the way, these uh, chords are built in, of three notes. They're called triads. If we do three thirds, for example, on the top column there, A, C, E, that is an A triad. It happens to be an A minor chord, but we'll talk about that later. If I go four steps and I go A, C, E, G, like it's illustrated at the top, that's an A minor seven chord. That's how seventh chords are created. We'll get into that more later. Okay, next diagram. Uh, this one shows ascending thirds. So what's happening here is we're going in thirds, but we're going further than four notes. And uh, it's good to just run through, starting on any note, try to go in thirds every other note until you end up on that same note again. And this illustrates that. For example, on A, A, C, E, G, B, D, F, A. If you start on D, D, F, A, C, E, G, B, D, if you start on F, F, A, C, E, G, B, D, F. Okay, so uh, that's a little more advanced, but uh, it's a great exercise. It's great for your mind. Next one shows you descending thirds. Same idea, but with keeping going through the scale until you end up on the note you started on. So starting on G, going downward, G, E, C, A, F, D, B, G, and then there's E again, but of course you can just stop on G because the cycle repeats, right? Uh, going backwards is quite a bit harder. Uh, it is for me, but um, let me do one and see if I can not screw it up off the top of my head. I'm starting on B. B, G, E, C, A, F, D, B. But it's more difficult for me. And like I said, this is a little more advanced. If you've just you know, get the first part, A through G, get really comfortable with that, that's enough. But you can go on with this if you have time. Uh, so now this is thirds ascending and descending combined together, okay? So you're going up starting on A, A, C, E, G, that's up four notes in thirds, and then just practice coming back down. Try coming down uh, from the G to the E to the C to the A. Try that starting on any note and see if you end up, if you go up four notes in thirds, you should come down four notes in thirds, you should end up on the same note if you've done it correctly. So that's it. Very simple first lesson. Um, and in the next lesson, I will show you how to apply some of this to your instrument. And uh, it's real important that you just get really comfortable with the A through G sequence, forward and backward. Thirds would be the next step up from there, if you can do that. And uh, we'll just take it one step at a time. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.